welcome to the wintertime special of the German Spearfishing Channel. I thought about what to do when it's raining all day long and the water temperature is uh, above 9 degrees. So I decided again to build a new gun. In difference to my old gun, it's gonna be a little bit bigger one and I'm gonna use much better and expensive uh, parts for the gun. Also, I want to do um, much more efficiency and accuracy in the building process to improve um, the failures that I did last time. A few subscribers sent me uh, some problems they thought what I did with the gun. So this is going to be improved now. I got this idea to build a new gun while I'm talking to a friend uh, of me who got a YouTube channel as well and he said when you got 20, uh, 20 subscribers um, you have to do a 20 subscriber special and so this is the 20 subscriber special beside I got 27 su uh, subscribers now his name is Tobias so Tobias here greetings from Cologne Germany right to you to Hamburg so here are the dates of the new gun um, it's gonna be 118 centimeters. These are 8 centimeter plus in difference to the old gun. It is 110 centimeters. Um, the new the new arrow will be 115 centimeters. Um, so I gain about 8 centimeters, which I can use out of the 13 centimeters out of the arrow. It's going to be a double banded band, a double banded gun. And now I'll show you the parts that I already buy for building this gun. So, which materials are going to use for the gun? There's first um, the reel from MFD, MVD. Um, it's a really nice reel. It's um, made of stainless steel and it got 60 meters of string capacity. And what I liked about this real special is that you got the screw on one side and the handle on the other side. So in cheap reels you got the problem that you got the screw in here exactly where the handle is. And this is much easier to use when you don't cut the screw when you turn in the reel. So a really nice reel. So second second part is the trigger. We've got this Hermes sub trigger. It's about 50 euros and it is a short trigger so you gain a little bit of extra extra power from the bands. Well normally um, it goes a little bit further but this is a short trigger. It's a really good one also made out of stainless steel. So, about the arrow. The arrow is a um, three-notch shark fin Salvimar 120cm double, double barbed arrow. It's really nice steel, really nice. And like I already said, it's double barbed. I never tried a double, a double barbed um, arrow, but for this gun, it's going to be the first one for me. It's a very, very nice tip. So we use these 16 millimeters rubbers. I think it's double banded, but perhaps I'm gonna change it to one or three banded. We will see in the building process. And um, this is now one meter of rubber band. This is perfect, like 50 centimeter for each band um, for a length about. 118 centimeters. Later I'm gonna tell you how to um, measure out the band length. These are blue tick insertions for uh, the rubber band. You can stick them in here and it's really nice because it's a fast system to change um, the arrow bands. I used it in my last, uh, last spear gun and I was really happy about this, so 
These are about 7 euros and they are worth it. Here you can see I bought, I bought some carbon. This is just for a design question. I'm gonna fish, finish up the finished gun um, with epoxy. I'm gonna epoxy in this uh, carbon. It's got a really, really nice look. This typical carbon look. And for the last, I've got this um, two millimeters nylon, which is for rigging up the spear to the gun. But this is one of the last step of the building of the gun. So um, now I'm going to show you a price list, what I paid for all these parts, and then we're going to start the building process. So here's the price list. Um, I paid 52 euros for the trigger, 32 for the arrow, 2 euros for the nylon, for the insertion 7 euro. Um, the teak wood cost me about 15 euro, the reel was about 51. The reel string I will buy about uh, 12 euro, the carbon made 10 euro, so it's altogether 181 euro. And I think when the gun is finished, it's going to be a real nice price for a really good gun. So follow up my channel, follow up the videos. Um, for the guys who saw my last gun, they know it's going to be very nice videos uh, to rebuild it. So thank you and goodbye.